Welcome to This Week in Dinosaurs for the week of July 17th, 2016. Contrary to the big scary roars that we see at the movies, dinosaurs, even the large ones, might not have roared at all. In a paper published in Evolution, researchers raised the possibility that the sounds that some birds make, like cooing, might have their roots in the vocalizations of their ancestors, dinosaurs. To make any kind of sense of what non-avian dinosaurs sounded like, we need to understand how living birds vocalize, co-author of the paper Julia Clark said. Not only were dinosaurs feathered, but they may have had bulging necks and made booming closed mouth sounds. A closed mouth sound is one that some birds make while keeping their beaks shut, instead producing noises in their throat. The authors note that the sound is much lower pitched than the open mouth vocalizations like a songbird's tune. Instead, they say, it might have more in common with an ostrich. This is just one possibility in the wide world of dinosaur sounds. We can make educated guesses about what they actually sounded like, but the fact is that most sounds are made with soft parts of the animal's body, the tongue, throat, and lungs. And, unlike bones, those don't survive for millions of years. We might never know exactly what a dinosaur sounds like, but by listening to large birds and reptiles, we might come close. The discovery of a theropod dinosaur with Tyrannosaurus rex-like arms suggests that these unusual forelimbs may have evolved multiple times. A new study has examined a new late Cretaceous dinosaur skeleton from northern Patagonia. The dinosaur, which they named Gualicho shinyei, is a new theropod species which likely forms a sister taxon with the African dinosaur Deltadromius. Although the skeleton was incomplete, the authors estimate that the dinosaur was likely a medium-sized slender predator weighing around a half ton, comparable to a polar bear. The analyzed skeleton shares many anatomical similarities with Deltadromius. However, despite its overall size, the forelimbs were comparable in size to that of a human child's, and the claws had just two digits. These unusual arms are much more similar to those of the distantly related Tyrannosaurus rex than the more closely related species, and may indicate that the forelimbs evolved independently on two branches of the evolutionary tree, rather than arising from a common short-armed ancestor. Co-author Peter Makovicki notes, Gualicho is a kind of mosaic dinosaur. It has features that you normally see in different kinds of theropods. It is not known why dinosaurs such as Gualicho and T-Rex had such disproportionately small forearms. Whilst this newly discovered dinosaur does not solve the mystery, it adds to the evidence that the trait may have evolved independently numerous times. By learning more about how reduced forelimbs evolved, we may be able to figure out why they evolved. It's your last chance to enter our free giveaway ending soon. For your chance to win the hybrid effects Tyrannosaurus Rex and Owen Alpha with Velociraptor Blue playset, and more. See the contest video on the channel to enter and for more information. And check out DinosaurStop.com, where you can stay up to date on dinosaur news, check out fun dinosaur places to visit, watch videos, and more. That's all for this week. And until next time. Rawr!